It is a big day for these Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh, a day to stand up and be counted. They are stateless in their home country of Myanmar, and many arrived in Bangladesh without an official identity. This is the first step to changing that. It's a family counting exercise. It's only uh, the, the, we collect the name of the head of household and then the number of family members in the house. The counting exercise led by UNHCR and the Bangladeshi government is innovative and could be life-saving. The idea is to help target the delivery of aid to all those in need. The data collectors visit each shelter. They enter personal information on their smartphones with a specialized app, along with a photo of each family member. The end result, one yellow identity card for the whole family to share. Mohammed Salim and his wife Sadak are counting on it to receive help going forward. <laughs> Having data on each family will help UNHCR and others to focus their protection efforts. And that assistance includes uh, what we offer for shelter, uh, tarpaulins, family kids, uh, wash assistance, nutritional assistance, health assistance, and helps us identify where these families are, what are the major needs that they have in a family. But the Family Counting Project is providing more than just targeted aid and protection. It is also about the big picture. Each hut that is visited is tagged with a unique number matched to GPS coordinates. That number is the same as the family's ID card linking the two together. Each one of those dots is a household. Open a dot and the information appears. The data creates a clear picture of the crisis. This all helps us to compile a collective uh, map, basically, an interactive map is what we are working with, or building up this interactive map of the whole new areas. It is an enormous task. More than half a million Rohingya refugees have settled into massive makeshift camps. The result, a vast expanse of shelters linked by dirt roads and paths. 100 so-called enumerators have spread out there in teams of 10 and count up to 4,000 households in a single day. The goal is to reach 105,000 families in the coming weeks. Each tag is a small measure of progress in helping the Rohingya in a moment of great need.